Hello everyone, it's Kritik here from IT Rebels. So now I hope you have downloaded Ethereum Metamask wallet and now let's learn about uh, what are the two type of Ethereum wallets. So first one is externally owned account and the other one is contractual account like contract account. So uh, when we have when we downloaded a uh, Metamask and uh, created our wallet uh this is this is a type of externally owned account like we own this and contract address uh, contract account is like this is a contract account where we have okay let me show you one uh, contract account this is a smart contract of this nft i guess and they this is a smart contract things like uh, function calls and this is a, a smart contract address and smart contract account so almost everything is sa same uh, for e externally owned account and contract address just there are few diff changes like a few differences like uh, this uh, externally owned account is controlled by a private key like uh, when we installed our metamask we have we you have seen some mnemonics and private key for each account you can see account details and there is export private key and you will get uh, private key for each account and it can hold uh, ethereum balances and other tokens used to holding sending and receiving ethers and interacting with smart contracts so this is what uh, externally owned, owned account is for and uh, now uh, the controlled uh, contract account so contract account uh, controlled by the contract code like this account we can't uh, if we deployed a smart contract we can't change and that's it uh, and all the code uh, all the other function is controlled by the contract account code uh, so if we want to do a, some transaction we have to call that function and then this contract will do something like controlled by the contract code has a unique address but doesn't have a public and private key so as we see we have a unique contract address but we don't have a private and public key for this account not even the owner have this public and private key for this account has a unique address uh, it is an autonomous agent and it its code execute a execution is triggered by receiving a transaction or a message so if you want to uh, use some function of the smart contract someone has to send a message that we want to call this function like if i want to use fulfill my basic needs then uh, I must call that using some ether uh, like using some ether and then they this function will run so that's what this point is then it can hold ethereum balance like account so as we can we are holding our ethereum balance in our metamask similarly we can also hold a money uh, or other token in contract also like this okay this contract is for open c deployer so that's the difference between a ethereum account and contract account i hope you have understood all of this and with uh, just stick to this playlist and you will learn complete web3 development and once again thank you signing off